What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over the filter sections of LFO tool. Now, the filter section is engaged by clicking this little on button here. So we will uh, set the basic shape to flat and uh, control click the volume so nothing's being modulated right now. We can engage the filter and mouse over the drop down menu and we'll see that we now have filter and our graph will change the filter to make it change back we mouse over any of these and it'll go back and we mouse over the filter it goes back so whatever you hover over uh, will be context sensitive we have cutoff resonance mix blank and drive uh, some filters do not have drive uh, I'll give you an example the low has drive and you can really drive a signal with resonance you can mix it wet dry and uh, it does some really cool stuff it can turn into interesting bandpass filters and uh, it can do all sorts of weird stuff uh, so you have the the typical normal which is like typical filters bandpass uh, band reject uh, high pass low pass you have multi-filters. These are multi-mode filters. These are different filters that kind of are more than one filter. And they do really weird things. Uh, they're kind of like format filters, but different. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's beyond the scope. Oh, what the hell was that? That was weird. It's beyond the scope of this video. That's never happened before. And uh, yeah, they're just different filters. Uh, we have uh, flanges. These are comb filters. So what they do is, I'll give you a better example. These can all be modulated, which is exciting. Uh, we'll go flange. We'll go comb. We'll engage. So what this does is this is just a bunch of filters, or not a bunch of filters. Think of it as you're taking each little point in time and delaying it by a small amount. So this is how you get like that gritty kind of bass. All sorts of fun stuff with that. There's comb filters, positive and negative, and there's different kinds of flanges. Think of it as different combinations of filters, and that's what we're looking at here. And yeah, there's just a lot of filters going on here. One of my favorites is we well, have, of course, comb, which is very aggressive. You have the impulse response of a reverb. Right, and you get some really gritty, kind of overdriven sounds with this. Uh, hard to explain what it does, but I believe it's the impulse response from a particular reverb. Uh, and of course, format uh, uh, low, mid, and high. And what these are, these are multiple um, bandpass filters that act as talking bass, kind of. Right, and you can cycle through them like so you can switch it up right so if you're into that sort of thing you might be and uh yeah that's pretty much the filter section a lot of filters and this is like an overlooked aspect of lfo tool it's a it's an exceptional filter machine as well as a ducking machine kind of thing uh there's just a lot going on here and uh yeah even ring mod which is kind of crazy uh yeah uh, hope you learned stuff and uh take care and have a good one